In August 2024, Espace Mobilité and ITS Belgium led a European delegation on a groundbreaking mobility masterclass to San Francisco with a clear objective. Explore the rapid development of robotaxis and autonomous mobility in the Bay Area. This diverse delegation included 32 participants. We had with us general directors of regional transport authorities as well as experts from Belgian regional and federal public services professors and researchers from prominent universities such as Ghent, Antwerp, Hasselt, and also from the University of Modena in Italy, the Italian National Center for Sustainable Mobility, mobility experts from Norway, and companies active in self-driving technologies. This entire study tour was made possible by the support of EIT Urban Mobility. Their CEO and Innovation Director joined us for this journey, highlighting their commitment to driving innovation in urban mobility across Europe. Together, we represented a effort to understand not only the technology itself, but also the potential impacts on society, infrastructure, and urban planning. The study tour was much more than just technical visits. Thanks to the invaluable support from Hub Brussels and AWX, both key players in fostering international trade and investment for the Brussels and Wallonia regions, we were able to engage with local innovators and companies that are shaping the future of mobility. Our delegation held meaningful discussions with key organizations, including the Arizona Commerce Authority, Zooks, Neuro, Polymath Robotics, and Kibis, each working on unique solutions to the future of transportation. Our journey began with a test of Waymo's robotaxi service. Waymo, formerly the Google self-driving car project, is a leader in autonomous vehicles. With over a decade of experience, Waymo has already logged more than 20 million miles on public roads and 10 billion miles in simulations. Their fleet of over 300 autonomous vehicles operates across San Francisco, Phoenix, and Los Angeles, offering ride hailing services without a human driver behind the wheel. This makes Waymo a real pioneer in the field of commercial robotaxis. Our excitement was tangible as we prepared for our first rides. For most of the delegation, this was their very first time in a robotaxi, and we needed eight vehicles to transport the entire group. Booking the ride was seamless thanks to the intuitive Waymo app, which enabled us to choose our pickup location. Within 10 minutes, all eight vehicles arrived at the exact spot we had defined. One of the early lessons we learned was about curbside management. Managing the pickups and drop-offs of autonomous vehicles presents a unique challenge in busy urban environments like San Francisco. This is especially true when large groups of people are involved, and we saw firsthand how crucial efficient curbside planning will be in the future. The rides themselves were smooth and reassuring. We had the chance to test the robotaxis in different weather conditions, including sun, rain, and fog perfect for evaluating how the technology performs in real-world situations. The cars are equipped with a sophisticated human-machine interface that displays everything the vehicle sees using its sensors, including LiDAR, radar, and cameras. These sensors give the robotaxis a 360-degree view, allowing them to detect pedestrians, cyclists, other vehicles, traffic signs, lights, and even temporary road structures. Our visit to the Waymo Tolan Depot provided further insights. Here, we witnessed the retrofitting process for the Jaguar I-PACE and Zeker platforms, which form the basis of their robotaxi fleet. These vehicles undergo meticulous retrofitting to integrate Waymo's autonomous technology. We also learned about the operational side of things, such as fleet management, charging logistics, and the need for human involvement in tasks like cleaning and maintenance. Waymo's operation in San Francisco is part of a broader vision to scale autonomous mobility globally, with a focus on safety and efficiency. Our journey continued with a visit to Tesla's Fremont factory. Tesla has been at the forefront of electric vehicles and autonomous driving. Their full self-driving FSD system, although not fully autonomous yet, represents one of the most advanced driver assistance systems on the market. During our tour, we experienced the latest version of FSD, which uses a vision-based system rather than relying on LiDAR, setting it apart from competitors. With Tesla's production exceeding 500,000 vehicles annually at this facility, 
It was fascinating to see how their electric cars are built from the ground up. In Mountain View, we explored Neuro, a company focusing on last mile delivery. Neuro's small, unmanned delivery vehicles are designed to transport goods rather than people, and they've been making waves in the autonomous delivery market. Neuro's R2 vehicle has been approved by the U.S. Department of Transportation as the first fully autonomous, zero-occupant vehicle on public roads. This is a major step forward for automation and delivery services, and Neuro is now shifting toward a licensing model, aiming to scale its autonomous technology across various industries. Another highlight was our visit to Pony AI, a rapidly growing player in the robotaxi market. Founded in 2016, Pony.i is valued at over $8 billion and operates robotaxi services in both the US and China. Their recent memorandum of understanding with Luxembourg positions them as a serious contender for robotaxi deployment in Europe. We were particularly impressed by the maturity of their technology and their pragmatic approach to regulatory challenges and partnerships. At Google Maps, we explored their Environmental Insights Explorer, a tool designed to help cities make data-driven decisions. EIE leverages Google's vast data resources to create models and simulations, providing insights into emissions, energy use, and the overall environmental impact of urban infrastructure. This tool is already being used by cities worldwide to guide their sustainability efforts. We also held a one-day conference at the University of San Francisco. This brought together leading voices in autonomous mobility and urban planning. We heard from the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency and the California Department of Motor Vehicles, both of which play critical roles in regulating autonomous vehicle operations. Cruise General Motors Robotaxi subsidiary gave one of their first public presentations since the unfortunate October 2023 accident that temporarily suspended their service. We also gained insights from professors at the University of San Francisco and advocacy groups like the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition and Independent Living Resource Center, who shared their perspectives on how autonomous mobility could affect different segments of society such as cyclists and people with special needs. This study tour highlights the need for Europe to take a greater interest in vehicle automation technologies and to define its own vision for improving mobility and accessibility across our regions. We thank EIT Urban Mobility and its CEO Maria Tsavachidis for their strong support and all the companies, authorities, and institutions for their warm welcome. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website to discover our range of training courses and study trips.